Let me introduce you to the uh, new American. The guns up, tax me later American. The flag waving, God fearing, no time for deep dialogue American. The socket to me, I can take it as long as the hand that blackens my eye belongs to a Christian hand American. The post racial American. The non racist American. The all lives matter American, regardless of color, race, creed, or religion, as long as they're not Muslim, Mexican, gay, or rapping American. The take no handouts American. The pull up yourself by the bootstrap. No need for affirmative action to get into college American, unless you're a Texas legacy baby American. Or let the grade speak for itself, American, accepting that black kids don't need no college, no how American, because we need good mechanics, Americans. Not that there's anything wrong with being a mechanic, American. The non apologetic American. The better safe than sorry, American. The I'm comfortable with living with more normal looking people, American. The is it safe to move into that neighborhood, American? The wait until you see at least a Starbucks, a craft beer brewery, or a secondhand clothing store sharing a space with a record store until you move into that neighborhood, American. The, I'm voting for Trump because he speaks the truth, American. The, I'm voting for Trump because he speaks from the heart, American. The, I'm voting for Trump because I can relate to him, American, because I can't trust the man with a Muslim name who sounds like he's a foreigner, American. No more foreigners, America. No more immigrants, America. You know, if Trump don't win, I kind of like the Ted Cruz American. Wait, he's Canadian? Oh, he's Canadian American. I can't stand where this country is going, American. The next thing you know, they're going to marry their pets, American. I mean, what's stopping them, American, huh? The God needs to teach these ass-licking, dick-smacking fag holes to be more America or uh, Christian America because we need to stop them from taking my country to hell, America. Now, I want to live in a country where big business and big government doesn't ruin America, America. Don't forget to vote for Trump, America. I want to live in an America where I want experienced politician. Experienced politicians, America. No more presidents who were former one-term junior senators or people who ran on a name, America. Don't forget to vote for Trump, America. <clears throat> I am a new American. The stand your ground, American. The don't let them take your guns, America. The we can protect ourselves from all invaders, foreign and domestic, America. Don't matter if most of our recent terrorists look more domestic than foreign America. All that matters is we can't let the Muslims win. We can't let the Muslims win. This country was founded under the idea of one nation under one God, and that God ain't no turban wearing sand nigga from Syria, America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the republic to which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now get the fuck out of my country and go build that wall. <laughs> <laughs> little black boy, little black boy, I see you. Little black boy, little black boy, I see you. Little black boy, I can reasons with you. Ain't make no damn sense of living in this sinful world that ain't seeing you. No matter what schooling you get, no matter what suits you impress, you still won't be seen as that pretty light skinned nigga that ruined the country, I guess. Harvard Law Degree Community Organizing, I see, is just a mirage in a sand dune Kenyan desert reserved for terrorists named Hussein. You will never climb out of that hole, that rat-infested, policy-infected socialist hole that is filled to the brim with left-wing socialist Greenpeace, environmentally conscious homo-lesbian heathens hell-bent on marrying men with men preventing the rest of us gun-toting, Roe v. Wade-hating, big government-hating Chinese economy, 99% stomping, God-fearing, tax-paying, border-crossing, real Americans. Little black boy, you think you stand a chance? Think you got a plan to get us out of this dance? I love my music, man. Don't be stomping on my song. I don't care if I'm an ignorant nigga who knows that I'm wrong. I want the way the way it used to be when a white man named Ron called me a real American. So you got four more years. I don't stop my fears. For being the base of this human race that still draws stairs. Because no one cares when we live or die or cares if we drunk or high. I'm really just cruising and keeping it moving. And I hope I don't drop my mind and I lose it. Little black boy, what you gonna do for me? What you gonna do for me? Yeah, little black boy, I seize you. Little black boy, I seize you. Little black boy, I seize you. I seize you. I can't reason with you. Ain't make no damn sense of living in this sinful world that ain't seeing you. No matter what schooling you get, no matter what suits you impress, you'll still be seen as that pretty light skinned nigga that ruined the whole country, I guess. Now, the truth is, it's hard to see. 
someone who looked like me take a beating and still end up beating the system that has so often mistreated him? That so could have been me. Yeah. And I'm reminded of what I gave up to see a world that can exist with a brother at the reins, a brother that looked like me. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> there was an intergalactic war that was being fought between a bunch of white people who were being persecuted by a bunch of British-sounding assholes who spread their evil empirical idealisms by controlling a force of gun-wielding thugs in white armor that did their bidding. Ironically, everyone was afraid of the big black armored faceless brother with the voice of a Shakespearean Moor <laughs> who could move mountains with his voice and quite possibly his hands. It was up to a rag-tag bunch of other white people, ultimately led by a blue-eyed pretty boy, a handsome pasty rogue, and a snobby, ivory-skinned brunette with the hairstyle of a twin donut, <laughs> and the accent of a fake socialite to put an end to this Eurocentric empirical tyranny. Unfortunately, it took them three tries, and the help of his sole Colt 45 drinking pimped out ebony token prince, to successfully bring harmony to the universe. But alas, 30 years later, and the cries of the oppressed are back. This time, all the heroes return in their bone-white cream complexion and age-grizzled glory with the help of three new heroes, a Cockney accident Skywalker lookalike infusing the hell out of the faithful because it was well established that in the original, fully praised, mostly non-Lucas directed, so hence good and hence non-shitty trilogy, <laughs> that the bad guys were British, and even more disheartening, two new heroes, one who is black and wielding what some passionate nerds are hoping not to be a lightsaber, which would make him a mythical good guy, that was formerly reserved for the lighter-skinned blonde persuasion, unless, of course, you're sidetracked by that purple illumination of the most badass of the often-called Jedis in the galaxy. But then again, that abomination was in the already-mentioned shitty trilogy, so we can ignore that fact that that individual actually exists. But anyway, to put this in, to put this clearly obsidian-skinned fake Jedi and granting him the tool and the color of the saber of the blue-eyed walking demigod and giving him a cold lead to the cockney female fake walker and then topping it all by adding a fucking Mexican-looking guy as a third lead? Well, it's a wonder why the faithful are worrying that this story is a reflection of the eradication of the white male in this non-existent universe. <laughs> and they're calling for a ban. <laughs> a fucking ban because of white genocide in a non-existent universe. Look, look, racist nerds, look, racist nerds, I get it. You can't wrap your mind around the fact that there may be a possibility of a more diverse universe. So you're far up the ass of a reality you can't look out of your own window and see that the world is not all about you. Granted, if you look on TV or go to the movies or go to theater or read comic books or play video games or participate in LARPing or visit Silicon Valley, you might think that there are no other shades of humanity in this world, but if you just take the time to get your fingers off the keyboard and stop feeding the troll monster and take yourself outside, you might be surprised. In fact, go to a comic con. Huh? You might just see a female Captain America or a black Spider-Man or an Asian Rick Grimes. Well, I'm, wait, 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 did, did, did I scare you, huh? Okay, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. But if you can't change with the times, my friend, you might be left behind in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> okay, sir, my hands are up. I'm not offering any aggression, resistance, or attitude. My hands are up in the air, reaching for mercy, not down for a weapon. In fact, you're welcome to check any part of my person for any trace of weaponry. Although I must admit that you will find a black plastic fist conjoined to some metal rods, and I guarantee you that the only shaking or shivering that will be happening is upon my own hair follicles. The fist is for expressing my nappy pride, sir. Please do not take that as a sign of aggression. Sorry, 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 sir. My hands are up in the air, placed against an imaginary wall and reaching towards a ceiling made of glass, 
making me see all too clear the limits of imagination and the illusion of progression. I'm not trying to be a smart ass, sir. I'm just trying to stay alive and be clear in my communication with both verbal and physical. Look, man, I'm just doing what the good reverend said. He said he was sick of it. Now, we brothers don't know how to listen to the law, that all we do is complain about the white man, and we don't do nothing to solve the problem. Well, sir, I am trying to solve the problem. I am literally reaching up for answers. Although it might be a tad difficult to understand me with my back towards you, so I'm going to turn around slowly and surely so you can lay your eyes upon mine, almost there. My hands are in the air. Almost there. I'm waving them, but I really do care. Almost there. Look, I'm in profile now, but I'm guessing that's how we got here in the first place. Profile, sorry. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Okay, look. Dred Scott holding Missouri Batman. I'm three-fifths of the way around Mr. Over. Say, okay, okay, okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm open and in full view. You can see me, and I'm not resisting, but insisting that you hear me out for a sec, okay? I have traces of alcohol and weed in my system. I'm wearing comfortable running shoes, and I have in my possession a pen that I may have lifted from the bank as I was signing my deposit slip. I'm telling you all this now in anticipation of this thing going south, so that when you and the myriad of cell phones are taping this right now, we'll get the full story, just in case Fox News decides to report the fact that I was high on PCPs, charging with full speed while possessing stolen property, okay? So look, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. My arms are tired, I can't take this weight anymore. I don't know what else to say. I am unarmed, I'm not a criminal. But I am very black, and I know that should not be relevant, and it sounds like a cop-out, but I've seen men choked and dragged and stunned and shot all while just asking the simple question of what did I do? And I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry, but I would much rather be judged by one man giving me a straight answer than a whole nation fed on second-hand media information. So what did I do? I'm gonna do this quick. I'm gonna do this quick. I'm gonna do this quick. I got three minutes, so I'm gonna do this quick. Hey, douchebag with the greasy hair, wearing your pointy shoes. Congratulations, you're part of America's new elite. Guess what? Nobody likes you. You think you're hot shit because you wear a suit to the office? Your cell phone attached to your hands, your briefcase houses an iPad? Well, guess what? Fucking nobody likes you. You take the L train to your fancy digs in a neighborhood that was built on the backs of hardworking blue collar people, all of who were priced out of their parents' homes to make room for your money clipping, cocaine sniffing, period drinking, house party throwing, roofie dropping, frat boy ass. You don't thank them. You just thank God that you can walk out of your home and find a yoga shop that doesn't require you to walk more than a block. Well, lucky for you, you dizzy motherfucker, but guess what? Nobody likes you. You go out on weekends and impress dumb bitches who either make what you make or as fake as you fake. Then you talk your best game, all comparatively lame, mixing up your Collins Dictionary, private school education, jargon speak, with the freshest, latest urban street slang, plugged directly from the pages of world star hip hop. And oh, you're so hip hop, yeah. At least that's the game you'd be running on these dumbass, corporate-ass, slob knobbing Wall Street corporate, snobby-ass, trick-ass bitches, excuse me, sorry, rather, <laughs> independently-minded, focused, and driven women of the new millennium that happen to suck dick and take it in the ass for a ride in the Bentley. Yeah, that's the life, surrounded by oodles and oodles of enablers and hangers-ons that would like nothing more than to lead you to believe that you are really and truly loved when you, in fact, an act. A Trojan horse waiting to be mounted and used for some grandiose enactments of Roman back in Allen reverie. When in fact, you are enacting the best type of thievery, polishing up a new kind of slavery, taking your worth and self-esteem and putting a price on it. But your value has dropped, your chips are in, and my friend, your total worth is somewhere in between the patriotic colors of red, white, and blue Monopoly money and the value you put upon the cats begging for change on the very same L train that you ride and scheme on, trying to impress chicks with the tablets that you read on, going to just work for the same fat cat that's getting fat off the dollars and cents that you make in this chase. Rat after rat, you pass in this race, and then you sell your soul to stay ahead of this space. I mean, how the hell are you supposed to look at the mirror in the face? And after all that said and gone, and you're dead and wrong, who will be there to right your wrongs and keep your legacy strong? But your ass don't need nobody, right? Because you are America's elite. Six figure under 40, close to six feet deep. But too bad you didn't open up your heart enough to let somebody find you. Oh, but that's right, motherfucker. Nobody likes it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Woo! Made it! Hey, made it. Yeah. Right on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. Oh, thank you.